මම උසස් පෙළ ප්‍රතිපලත් අරගෙන IMC එකට ගියේ වෛද්‍යවරයෙක් වෙන්න තිබ්බ හිනේ හැබෑ කරගන්න. ලෝකයේ ප්‍රමුඛතම විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයකට ඕන් මව යොමු කළා. බෙලරුස් වල IMC ඔෆිස් එකකුත් තියෙන නිසා මට දැනුනේ දෙමෝපියෝ ළඟ ඉන්නවා වගේ. අද මම ශ්‍රී ලංකා රජයේ රෝහලක වෛද්‍යවරයෙක්. IMC education කියන්නේ අපේ සිහින මාවත සරසන විශ්වසනීය ආයතනයක්. දහස් ගණනක් ශ්‍රී ලාංකික සිසුන්ගේ වෛද්‍ය සිහිනය සැදා කර දුන් IMC education. देशीय वायु यात्रियापने देशीय सन्नामय दैनिक अवधारण बिंदुआई हत्ता हताई हाथली सतराई दहाई हत्से आसुदेक श्रीलंका वायु तिसबहवे अनुमतियालत नव प्रमुखतम विश्वविद्यालय संधा सिसनियम करे चूती दोनी ओया लोको ऐला खाओरु वैन्ना तक कैमती अपियोबे सिहिन मावत सरसाने मो दहस गणनक श्रीलंक के किसी सुनगे वाइद्य सिहिने सब ऐकर दुन आईएमसी एडुकेशन विदेशीय वाइद्य अध्यापनीय देशीय सन्नामे दन्म अमतान्ना बिंदुए हत्ताहताई हतलिस हतराई दहाई हाय एवरीवन वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल Let's uh, let's start off with this particular session. Mangita ne mevela ma bohu thoda chee ke dahena hati. We have some guests who are here. I'm going to uh, first of all spotlight all our guests. We have Madhu Shalini who is studying at the Grodno State Medical University. I can say Gayashi. So I have added Gayashi also into the spotlight, and I can see Siraj. I'm going to add Siraj into the spotlight, right? Okay. So the three of y'all uh, are in the center of my screen. Uh, that's how the students can actually see y'all, and maybe I can also come in the middle, right? So four of us are here. Um, <clears throat> a warm welcome to all of the students who are joining uh, this particular session, taking as one of the most important decisions in selecting a medical school. uh we are taking this as the final call to uh, talk about you know students who can study overseas immediately right um we have three students from three different universities who are going to talk about their experience right before that i would like everyone uh to pay keen attention that this session is only going to be approximately for about an hour I will give you enough of ample chances to ask questions from our students who are going to be our future doctors. Uh, I'm sure that there are future doctors listening to this, and I am also aware that there is a power cut going around the corner, right? There is a power cut. Uh, try to have your chargers or your, uh, you know, your power banks arranged because this is an important session. Nikang hari ogolan ka power ek natang. what you all can do is you all can uh, you know check us out on the youtube channel i will want everyone to subscribe and give us a small uh, backup here because of you all um, we have over 1000 subscribers for this particular channel so the video of today's session will be actually posted here so at the moment i'm going to send a message to everyone please subscribe this channel for medical content so for medical content exclusive medical content for anyone who likes to study medicine uh, we are going to add a lot of videos uh, with regarding to this here so i request everyone uh, to join uh, this particular channel uh, today's session and many other videos have been uploaded here so to start off with before we have a chat with our students who are here uh, we are going to go through a very detailed uh, thing about uh, how do students actually take it across in uh, belarus and things like that right before that there is something which uh, students should be aware of <clears throat> when you are going to study abroad and you are working with an office you have to look at uh, certain things as at now we are going to discuss about your grades and pending results okay ඔගලන්ගේ grades ඇවිල්ලා තැති එහෙම නැත්නම් ඔගලන් pending results වලින් ඉන්න දරුව වෙන්නත් තැති how do you make a proper decision without wasting much time in this moment if anyone has got their passports in their hand 
you are at an advantage kaatari me welawe passport ekak tiyenawa nan you are at an advantage okay i like to ask a question quickly from uh, siraj bhagya and matishalini uh, did you all have passports when you all met us last time did you all have to go to the passport office any of you all uh, yes i have to go because of my passport was expired by near by year. that's it okay siraj uh, has to go what about gayashi and uh, matushalni did you all have the passport or after you met you went to the passport office to take it no i have already you had already right uh, I- matushalni Yeah, I also had already. You also had. Siraj, how long did it take for you to go and do your work in the passport office? Oh, I got it like I put in the uh, one day service. So I got one, one day service. Day. Right. Do you know so they Siraj? They asked you for a five year period, no? So my yeah. passport was like expiring in three years, something like that. Right. Do you know Siraj to do that now? How hard it is? Especially yeah, yeah, if know. someone does not have. It. Yeah, especially if someone does not have a passport. This passport is going to be taking at least three months. At least three months. So may 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 relave when may may moment ke abhi kata karenge. You might have grapes. I don't worry. Even if you have three A's, if you have three A's, you can easily apply, right? No problem. You are saying that your parents have the money even to send you abroad. now that is not the problem earlier the problem is sir i don't have grades sir my parents have to uh, find the dollars and all these issues now there is a new problem parents have got the money students have got the grades they want to go they can't get a passport passport will take 3 months people's pass this is one day service guys if you have a passport you are at an advantage if you don't have a passport i always will tell you go through some contacts personal contacts some friends uh, known people in the passport office and try to get your work done and you should know that there are passport offices around sri lanka not one isara wage neme everyone does not come to the bartar mulla office there is one passport office i think in matara there is one passport office in kurnagala side i think there is one passport office in vaunia uh, highest number of passports are issued in the head office in bartar mulla but if you are in that area see whether you can get that if you have everything else and you don't have a passport we can't do anything we can't even get your admission letter we can't even book your seat nothing we can't do anything this takes about 3 months at the moment i am not joking mama make a video karane me kiyane attatama one day service is taking 3 months it sounds silly right one day service when one day ne metana one day service maasa tunak kena right so you have to uh, you have to do that so we have over uh, 60 students who are listening to us anyone who is going immediately i hope and i pray you have your passports with you if you don't have your passports before everything else before you do anything else you need to solve the passport matter immediately uh, with you right uh, apart from this we are going to discuss about all the three universities of what we have uh, so you know the international medical campus is home for these three universities uh which we are going to talk about today so we have students from all the three universities who met us in sri lanka different backgrounds they met us in different time period all of them have started their medical education and mam balapurukthu no ogolang haraha you all also will get a motivation actually to start all of this okay so uh siraj tell us uh what what was your experience like in the first semester and uh, how did you actually cope up to adjust everything there in belarus so first the, when we went there the first issue was the language so we don't know russian at that time so Correct. we have to adjust that uh, environment and uh, we have to deal with russian when we even when we go to the shops and all all way around the tips uh, so once the uni started they started teaching us russian so even our ias and akkas uh, akkas also taught us some russian words simple words uh, so how to ask the price of some thing and to greet someone and say thank you like those things uh, so eventually we managed to uh, grab the russian by now like right how did you get to know about uh, like imc and all this stuff uh like i saw some advertisements in the social media websites and right. 
that's it now have you made enough friends in the university yeah 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 how's around how's like in our uh, batch like there's around two, more than 200 students sri lankan more than 200 yeah. students sri lankans right okay good madhushalni uh, how's how's things happening in your end uh, in in you know in around uh, uh, i remember you came and met us and you know frequently you used to come to our office so how did you get to know about imc and all this stuff uh, i got to know about imc uh, from one of my relatives so and uh, he gave me the number and i contacted sumaya akka and after that everything happened <laughs> and that <laughs> I so, went to uh, yeah, pre-med. So yeah. I didn't face any problem in uh, Russian because in pre-med for the six months they taught us Russian and we studied biology also. So the first semester it's really easy for me to just pick up everything and so. Right. What's the best thing you have seen in your university? Best thing, sir, uh, it's exams. Just we have to study and prepare for each and every lesson, and uh, they will keep exams. frequently so we have to study so nice. that's the yeah. control exams yeah control yeah. exams okay so guys uh, that's a that's a interesting thing which uh, all the three universities actually have so i'm just going to make a note of some of the points which uh, they are talking about all the all the uh, universities have something called uh, control exams control exams Uh, in simple language, if I tell you, in simple understanding, a control exam is let's say like our assignments which we have chapter wise, topic wise. So what happens is there is two types of ways of how medical schools actually will assess your uh, progress. One is like our A level system. Mukad the A level system ekati an tien ne ugan nala ugan nala ugan nala ugan nala. Ita passe wo at maase ak study leave villa. Ita passe okum ait study leave villa ve maase ak kintala padang karala. ඊට පස්සේ මහා විභාගයක් තියෙනවා but here it's not like that in the control exams you have topic by topic you need to actually study you have a maha vibhage also apart from that you need to study topic by topic so it makes the student always on the move you can't you can't wait till last moment from day one you have lot of work actually to do uh, gayashi and uh, let's uh, let's talk to gayashi little gayashi uh, and all of you all have to tell this and uh, now since gayashi is uh, coming from gomel gayashi oyage pantika amare lamai kiya kinna um the hayak ekena ape group eke lamai vitara inne group eke 10 to 8 right okay. so according to gayashi uh, i'm going to take it as gsmu right gsmu kiyanne gomel right so they are talk telling that they have 10 uh, madhusalni broadno is grsmu in broadno what is the size of your classroom uh 12 students but in our students. group yeah, yeah you go right uh, siraj what is the size of your classroom average it's like 13 let's then 15 always right roughly about 13 to 15 right can all the students pay keen attention to this this is the biggest advantage for a person who is going to learn on a group class basis these are your group class basis learning advantages it is not a situation where your classrooms are going to be overpacked your classroom is in a capacity where oya tai oya ge lecture tai athara tiyana menne me connection ekak individualized learning where there is a group learning your lecturer knows when you are there in the class your lecturer knows when you are not there in the class oya nikan hari absent nang if you are absent your lecturer knows you are not there just in case your lecturer wants to test the knowledge of what was taught last week he can come to you and see and uh, your lecturer can come and open your book your lecturer can see your handwriting then viswavidyalayan samahara kewa thiyena loke one classroom is in a hall it's a big hall which they actually teach there are enough of universities like that those universities 200 in a classroom is like 200 in a hall and there is a general lecture actually which go on they don't divide it into group based studies but this is actually one of the strongest md programs around uh, the european east european system actually which is followed in this country the russian system some of the systems followed in oxford cambridge these type of universities we can say that they have done uh, group class basis right uh, anyone wants to share any interesting experiences you all have in the classroom when your classroom was very small or things like that anything you like to share to our students oh, yes uh, can i start this yeah please do 
the main thing was like uh, when we learn russian it is very easy to learn russian when like the group is small so we can ask uh, the unknown words we can ask the letters we can uh, make our handwriting well so we can uh, connect with the teacher like personally so i think it's it's basically may and mainly uh, goes for the russian because of that uh, the group is small that's it Correct. other subjects like anatomy like we have to study every day we have to come prepare uh, for the the particular topic on that day so uh, even we have like if even if we have some question we can go and ask from the teacher personally uh, and we have to answer uh, like for that topic Uh, that particular day topic uh, that's it i think mainly it's based on russian uh, like first three years we study russian uh, after that we don't get to study russian right okay so gayashi uh, i just uh, saw the video which the project which you have had so let's just show our viewers where they can find it uh, and if you can just explain us so uh guys um, this particular video has been very recently been uh, updated here so uh gayashi has done this this thing which let's just look at it part of it from this angle just give me a second 